Nictar Benedito knows about coping with limitations. He was born with a condition that twisted his limbs and hampered the use of his hands and arms. Undeterred, the Mozambican man taught himself to draw and paint with his feet to better express himself. The artist says the COVID-19 pandemic is the biggest obstacle he has encountered in his 37 years. It inspired him to produce a series of works he calls The Cry of the World. I've been painting what the world cried many times. This series portrays women and girls for whom the COVID pandemic has been particularly hard. UNICEF has reported widespread increases in child marriage and cutbacks in girls' schooling, a concern also expressed by authorities in Mozambique's Manica province, where Benedito lives. His new works focus on females, some pregnant, all struggling. When COVID started, people in rural areas didn't understand what it was. These women carried everything and left the village because they thought COVID-19 was a spell. That's why they appear on their backs. One piece shows a beautiful girl setting out in the morning with a hoe and jar. She looks sad because she's missing school, Benedito said. She must go to work in the field, something she didn't want to do. But she's forced to do so because she has married early. Pandemic restrictions have prevented Benedito from exhibiting his work beyond his modest home in Chimoyo town. He said he has sold paintings to his friends, but also depends on a monthly government food basket to make ends meet. He's not complaining. For me, art is not about the money. Art is helping people to look at the world with different eyes. When he was a child, Benedito's disabilities kept him from playing with others. He started drawing to relieve his loneliness. Now he envisions starting an art school for youngsters with or without disabilities. I want to gather many children and teach art, but I won't be able to do it alone. Benedito's goal is to help others create and see compassionately and to leave that as part of his legacy.